reason that I wanted you to come next is because I thought a really good point in this in the conversation now would be to say, okay, I mean, Media Ocean, Media Ocean is sort of the de facto tool for planning and buying in television, right? Right. If you look at your product roadmap, how is TV planning and buying really changing by the you know the ones mm -hmm. that have sort of deep chops like Tracy? Right. How are they really doing business differently as a result of you know what the requirements are by the marketplace on your product? Right. Well, you know, so the first thing that we realize is there's a lot of fragmentation out there, right? So if you look at the Lumiscape and all the partners in this room um, that are partners of Media Ocean we have to really come up with new ways to get to market faster with technology. So one of the things we did was introduce a, a platform called Connect. Um, and that means that we don't have to build all of the stuff that needs to be built to enable the workflows that the agencies and the buyers and the planners and the sellers need to access. Um, so you know, through APIs and, and custom integrations, we'll partner with pretty much anyone um, who has a need to transact inside of our workflow, inside of our media system, and any media system. It doesn't have to be digital. It can be local broadcast, national broadcast. So, oh, all right, so I want to be a bit more specific because you, you know, you announced a partnership <coughs> with last year. Yep. You guys had a big, uh, com you know, Scott and, and Bill and those guys were at CES, right, mm -hmm. with Irwin talking about the Videology Media Ocean Partnership. Right. So in specific terms, what what is being added to your product suite that is different, that is reflective of the sort of demands of the market as a result of convergence? Right, so this is the really cool stuff. Right. So what we're doing with, um, we'll take Freewheel and Videology, for example. So with Freewheel, what we did was we came up with a way to automate digital inventory and shape the inventory into TV avails, whether it was national media schedules or you know, contracts or local broadcast schedules. You could take their partners, any of their partners, and transact as a local buyer or a national buyer inside of your TV estimate. So if you create a campaign, you can have your digital video <coughs> and your broadcast television inside the same screen. What makes you different from a DSP? Um, we're a software company. We don't take a position on any of you know the inventory or how it gets managed or who buys and you know from who. So okay, so just because you're not sort of facilitating the transaction, you're just Correct. up funnel facilitating the plan against it. Okay. Yeah. And videology, tell me one more about that. So with videology, we had to take it a step further, right? Because with videology, um, there's not the, the concept of direct supply just yet, right? So they're programmatic. Um, what we built in our launching is uh, an automated avails process. So if you're a local broadcast buyer in your pre-buy system, right, you can put in all sorts of filters and criteria to figure out what happens in the New York market and what stations you need to buy. But when you want to transact with videology in a video sense, you, there's nobody to call. You can't pick up the rep and say, hey, you know, can you get me some avails and I can research it against Nielsen data. So we had to come up with a way to automate that process, make calls directly to their software retrieve that information back into our, our worksheets, right? And allow the buyers to analyze the data that comes from, well, videology. So they could see what they're getting in terms of audience and make the decision, am I buying against a ranker of you know, stations one through seven? Or am I skipping station five, six, and seven to go with a buy from videology? But how's the planning cycle changed, right? Because television has traditionally been, mm -hmm. I mean, that's the interesting ju juxtaposition of where we are, is that television has been typically an upfront market. Right. And premium video, that is bought programmatically is shifting to a reserve as well, right? Which right. is quite interesting. So, I mean, it sounds like for the first time, you're actually able in a more real sense to deliver real-time data and real-time actionable data as a result of bundling video inventory, but yet the result is that video is being planned more akin to a television cycle, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't, and, know, and I don't know what the question is, but it's like my mind's sort of twirling there. It's funny, right? Because, I mean, you got to think about TV systems versus digital systems, right? And there's a, you know, Irwin said it, there's a rich history inside of traditional, right? Um, so the local broadcast buyers, and you know, you want to keep local broadcast buyers relevant, have all of this knowledge and expertise, expertise in their markets, right? National buyers the same. National buyers know everything there is to know about a network, an audience, a cable net, a syndicator, right? You got to take those skills and have them parlay into new technology and new capabilities and new access to inventory because they have an appetite for the digital inventory as well. Um, so we're just giving them the capabilities they need to transact. On the digital side, we're taking a lot of that know-how and building it into our Prisma platform, right? So that we can get toward a converged platform that actually takes your network schedule and your digital schedule and puts it in one place. And this is already happening. Um, you know, a lot of the digital uh, inventory that we see transacting comes from national networks who are saying, well, yeah, I need to make good on my, my ADUs, and, you know, I'm going to use my digital inventory. So right. 
you know, we see that transacting today, and we're building technology to enable that to happen more fluidly. They actually call it fluidity, right? So <coughs> they're taking those ADUs, cramming them into the system versus having it all just kind of flow out from a network schedule. So we're building those into our Prisma platform. And so you will see a convergence, and it's not just taking digital mm -hmm. and cramming it into, you know, broadcast systems. It's building a, a more elegant system into our, our digital platform. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Cody. I appreciate it. Thanks.